welcome back. New gun day. I need to get this Viroc 99S reviewed. And um, here we are. Those of you that have followed the channel for a bit, this is the one that I dropped. Um, I had it on the edge and it did a backflip. So uh, I'm keeping this one now. Lucky for me, it's a beautiful gun. Um, but uh, I've shot it a couple of times in uh, test videos. I've shot it to zero it. Today we're gonna run a few uh, pellets through just to show you the accuracy of this rifle and uh, give you my thoughts. I know some of you are waiting for it specifically. So this is the Virac 99S in 22 caliber. Introducing the Virac HW 99S Brake Barrel Air Rifle, a masterpiece in craftsmanship and precision. With a stunning wooden stock, this air rifle is not just a tool, but a work of art. With a barrel length of 395mm providing exceptional accuracy, and a total length of 1095mm weighing in at 3.25kg, it's perfectly balanced for both target shooting and hunting. The Virac HW99S in 22 caliber offers an outstanding effective range capable of hitting targets with precision up to 50 meters. Experience the excellence and power of the Virac HW99S brake barrel air rifle. Precision, performance, perfection. Now we're out at uh, 20 meters here. Um, I've got the target set up just down there. Um, I've got Hades 22 Diablo JSB in 15.89 grain. Um, I wanted to try these by recommendation from you guys. Let's have a go. So um, I've got the Hawk fast mount on here, which is the 6224 by 50. Um, great scope. Love everything about it. Can't really uh, fault it. Uh, the Virac, I've taken off the barrel sight at the end. Uh, someone commented that I called it an iron sight. Sorry about that. Uh, and um, yeah, let's see what we can do. I think the biggest thing is I really like the stock on this. Ambidextrous stock, so as you know, as a lefty, um, I quite enjoy that. I the, the, the steepling or stipling on the grip is really well textured, so good grip. I've shot this from shoulder. I'm going to do this off sandbags today to give you some accuracy points. Um, but I do just need to go and sort my phone out because it's flipped. The evening is drawing in. Um, I've had so much sun recently and I've chosen to do this on one of the muggiest days. Storms are due tonight. Let's see what we can get from a group. All the way back here. We even turn the uh, illuminated rectile on for this. Okay, we're gonna go for the big target center first. Automatic safety. When I first got this, it uh, definitely needed a clean through. Um, first couple of shots, I had quite a spoky barrel, um, but all resolved now. Three. Just want to put five for it. I feel like I found my position now, so uh, bear with me a sec. I'll get a few more through this. I 
I like the way these have got like, I know, I know it's not, but they've got like a, these pellets have got like the uh, nuke, uh, nuclear sign on them. Okay, now I'm gonna change the magnification. I'm not particularly comfy. Just want to find a better. Position on this. Okay, that feels better. Let's just change where we're shooting. I'm going to go up to the uh, the smaller targets. Action's pretty nice. Um, it, I mean, it does kick, it's a brake barrel, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's still, feels like it needs a bit of a clean through. Like there's, there's still a smell coming off it. <sighs> I tell you what, I'm incredibly stressed at the moment with work and everything going on. This really helps just to get out and control my breathing a little bit. Um, I don't know, what do you guys feel? Shooting really helps with uh, my relaxation. I'm gonna go and grab um, some different pellets. I think it's nice to run a different, couple of different versions through and uh, just have a chat about the gun itself, really. Okay, got some exact Jumbo Diablo, 15.89 grain, and some Bisley Premier. So the cock in action is really nice. It's not too stiff. The mounting system is, uh, the, the barrel itself is rounded, some are square, um, but this is the uh, dovetail mount. Um, really simple, really effective, and um, really nice rifle actually. The bottom left. That was me, I pulled the trigger too heavy on it. So I wanna know, how long do you guys spend zeroing your, uh, your scopes? Comment down below. I believe I've got um, a digital scope coming. 
I'm intrigued about a leaf AI. So when I dropped it, I marked the wood here at the front and in the uh, butt pad and on the barrel site as well. Such a shame, but uh, you know, is what it is. Five. Okay. I've only got two more of those left. Oh no, there's a few underneath there. Let's go to the business. I don't often have very good results with these. They are not my favorite, but let's see. So let's go to the center target. drop like that. I'm just going to realign my MOI. Use the mill dot. All of that was a load of bollocks. Starting to rain. Not loving these. I think I'm going to have to call it there. Wait all this time, now the weather's come in. Um, look, the Virarc 99S is a beautiful piece of engineering, as with all the Virarc rifles, but these brake barrels, in my opinion, are beautiful for the wall as well as out on the range. This is gladly mine to keep. Um, you have this lovely piece of wood as the stock and you get just endless fun with really with these. Uh, it's not too loud. I've had louder. It uh, is accurate at range and um, yeah, can't fault it. Um, Virac 99S, if you're looking for a breaker that isn't gonna break your bank, excuse the pun, this is a good one to, uh, to keep your eyes on. Uh, all that's left for me to say is thank you to you guys for watching. Uh, the rain's really starting to come now, so I'm going to sign off with the cheers and I'm going to leave the full details of this guy in the comment below for all the statistics, weight, length of barrel, etc. so that I don't get completely soaked. Thanks folks, take care.